would. Yeah, I kind of thought I'd do a bit of a DVD, Blu-ray update. Mostly Blu-ray. Um, update. And... We're going to, I guess you could say, start with um, with this, if we can uh, get it out here. With this DVD, my mom recently got it through Publisher Clearinghouse. Um... She hasn't opened it yet because, you know, she's still paying for it, believe it or not. Uh, but that's the first and only DVD that, you know, we really have in this update. I mean, I do have another uh, DVD. I do have another DVD to talk about, but it's basically the same movie that I showed you before. But if not, I will show you again. <coughs> and that is, of course, let me get out here, Frozen. This is Frozen. Uh, basically, through a torrent, or whatever you want to call it, someone decided to upload the digital HD uh, version. <coughs> Excuse me. They decided to upload the di digital HD version. And the first time I converted it, it was mostly an MKV, I believe. The first time I converted it, I left it originally. I left it in its original format, which basically is watchable, but what you would have to do is use the uh, mode section on your, D on your uh, TV to go to stretch. And, uh, and to go to stretch mode and just stretch out the pictures to fill out the screen. This time, however, it took a little longer, but I decided to um, put it to 1920 1080. And it came out alright. It came out basically the way it's going to look like on Blu ray, except the Blu ray is going to look a little bit better. It's, of course, going to have a lot more extras. So yeah, that one is basically what kind of gives you an idea. That one basically gives me an idea of what the Blu-ray is going to look like, although the Blu-ray will look a little better. And speaking of Blu-rays, we have, these were all gotten within the past uh, couple of days. This one was gotten yesterday, and this of course is the definitive edition, the, de the definitive edition of the Passion of the Christ. That's why it's the definitive edition of the Passion of the Christ. And uh, on here, we can look at the fact that <coughs> excuse me. We can look at the fact. I can say it's the definitive edition. We can look at the fact that the um, it's a two disc set, as we could see. And on here we have on the Blu-ray, on the Blu-ray we have uh, two versions of the film: the original theatrical version and a version edited for gra graphic depictions. 
In other words, basically you have an R-rated version and you have a PG-13 rated version. That, that's what you have. You have an R-rated version and a PG-13 rated version. You also have enhanced viewing mods with biblical uh, footnotes, audio commentaries with Mel Gibson, filmmakers, and theologists, and more. And then, of course, you get this as well. You get the DVD. You get another copy of the DVD if you don't have enough. And here you have, on the DVD, you have Making of the Passion of the Christ exclusive documentary. The Legacy, a historical and cultural retrospective of the crucifixion. Historical photo gallery, deleted scenes, and more. And that is basically the Blu-ray version of the definitive edition of the Passion of the Christ. So that's pretty cool. Me. Then of course we have the sapphire we have part of the sapphire series. We have Saving Private Ryan. Now this is a movie that my grandparents actually sent me for Christmas on my birthday one year when I was in Kansas. This is Saving Private Ryan. And as you can see, there it's got special features involved in this are Saving Private Ryan with introduction with by director Steven Spielberg. And the features are Looking into the Past, Miller and His Platoon, or Miller and His Platoon, Boot Camp, Making Saving Private Ryan. Recreating Omaha Beach, Music and Sound, Parting Thoughts, Into the Breach, Saving Private Ryan, High Definition Versions of the Theatrical Trailer and Re-Release Trailer. You also have Shooting War, World War II Combat Photographers, hosted by Tom Hanks. And of course... Like uh, Zeranizerak, this has what I think he's a fan of, the slip covers, of course. And it's a, indeed a two-disc set. Two Blu-rays. You have the feature film, which is 169 minutes. You have it. right here and then here you have the special features on another blu-ray so very very cool and zero nice rack from you i highly recommend getting this for your collection And then, another addition to the collection, Blu-ray double feature, Saturday Night Fever and Grease. That's right, Saturday Night Fever and Grease. Of course, Saturday Night Fever, R-rated, I guess. And Grease. An R-rated movie with a PG-rated movie. Go figure. And there you go. Special features for Saturday Night Fever are commentary by director John Bodman. Catching the Fever, Back to Bay Ridge, 
Dance Like Travolta with John Cassia, Fever Challenge, 70s Discopedia, and Deleted Scenes. Greece, you have Rydell Sing Along, Deleted Extended Old to all right, deleted, extended, altered scenes, or altered scenes, DVD launch party, Grease Memories with John and Olivia, The Moves Behind the Music, Thunder Roadsters, and much, much more. And that's pretty good for two discs set. Pretty good right there. And then finally... We have Ghost. And on here, special features are commentary by Jerry Zucker and writer Bruce Joel Rubin, Ghost Stories, The Making of a Classic, Inside the Paranormal, uh, Inside the Paranormal, Alchemy of a Love Scene, Cinema's Great Romances, Theatrical Trailer High Def Version, and Photo Gallery. And there you go right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the Blu-ray of Ghost. go so yeah those are my so that is the dvd blu-ray update mostly blu-ray um hope you guys liked it if you want to know if you have a walmart near you or something um they have right now i don't know how much longer it's going to be but for right now they have for 496 for four ninety six, they have a whole. They should have a display in your electronics aisle, but they have a display for four ninety six for Blu rays. I'm not lying, and that's where I got Ghost from. Ghost was four ninety six, and they got movies like Tropical Thunder, Fueler's Day, Fueler's uh, Day Off, uh, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, uh, The Firm, Days of Thunder, you know, they got a, a good amount of uh, decent titles there for four ninety six. You can't beat those. And as far as Saving Private Ryan, Passion of the Christ, and the Saturday Night Fever Grease uh, double feature, all nine ninety six. you cannot beat that at a Walmart, no matter what people may say. Excuse me. No matter what people may say. So, but those are basically the uh, Blu-rays and DVDs that have been added to the collection. There will be more Blu-rays and DVDs in the near future. There will be one Pacific Blu-ray update coming this upcoming week as well. Hopefully, God willing. And that's all I'm going to say. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And I'll talk to you all later.